Weird things people with psychopathy do. Eight strange behaviors often linked to psychopathy. Psychopathy is a complex personality disorder characterized by a range of disturbing traits and behaviors. While it's important to note that not all psychopaths are violent criminals. Their behaviors can be unusual and sometimes unsettling. This video explores eight strange behaviors often linked to psychopathy. Shedding light on the intriguing aspects of this enigmatic condition. 1. Superficial charm. One of the most perplexing traits of psychopathy is a superficial charm. Psychopaths are often highly skilled at making a positive first impression and appearing charismatic. Even when hiding their true intentions. This superficial charm can be disarming and manipulative, making it difficult to spot a psychopath until it's too late. 2. Lack of empathy. Perhaps the most well-known trait of psychopathy is the profound lack of empathy. Psychopaths struggle to understand or care about the emotions and suffering of others. They may engage in acts of cruelty without remorse, and this emotional detachment can be unsettling to witness. 3. Grandiose sense of self. Psychopaths often have a grandiose sense of self-importance. They may believe they are superior to others and deserve special treatment. This arrogance can lead them to manipulate and exploit those they see as inferior. 4. Pathological lying. Psychopaths are prolific liars. They have an uncanny ability to deceive others convincingly and without guilt. These lies can be about anything, from their personal history to their intentions and motives. 5. Shallow emotions. While psychopaths may mimic emotions, their feelings are often shallow and fleeting. They may experience excitement, anger, or pleasure, but their emotional responses tend to be superficial and lack depth. This detachment can result in strange and inconsistent emotional reactions to situations. That would typically elicit strong feelings in others. 6. Impulsivity. Psychopaths are known for their impulsive behavior. They may act recklessly, without regard for the consequences, which can lead to dangerous and unusual choices. Their impulsivity can manifest in criminal behavior or in the way they interact with others. 7. Lack of remorse. Psychopaths feel little or no remorse for their actions, even when their behavior causes significant harm to others. They may rationalize their actions, blaming their victims or external circumstances. This absence of guilt or regret is a disturbing trait often associated with psychopathy. 8. Manipulative and controlling. Psychopaths are skilled manipulators. They often use their charm, charisma, and deceit to control and dominate those around them. They may exploit others for personal gain and use psychological manipulation to get what they want. This behavior can lead to strange and unsettling power dynamics in personal and professional relationships. Psychopathy is a complex and enigmatic personality disorder that can result in a range of strange and unsettling behaviors. While not all psychopaths become violent criminals, their superficial charm, lack of empathy, grandiose self-image, pathological lying, shallow emotions, impulsivity, lack of remorse, and manipulative tendencies are traits often linked to the condition. Understanding these behaviors can help individuals recognize and protect themselves from potential psychopathic individuals, ensuring that they remain safe in their personal and professional lives. If you found value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel, it will be appreciated. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Adding real-life examples can provide concrete illustrations of the traits and behaviors associated with psychopathy. Here are some real-life examples of individuals who have exhibited psychopathic traits. 1. Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy is one of the most infamous serial killers in American history. He was charming and charismatic, which is a common trait among psychopaths. He used his good looks and charm to gain the trust of his victims, often pretending to be injured or in need of assistance. Once he gained their trust, he would abduct and murder them. Bundy's ability to manipulate and deceive others is a classic psychopathic trait. 2. Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff was a financier who ran the largest Ponzi scheme in history, defrauding thousands of investors out of billions of dollars. He maintained a facade of success and honesty for years. 
which is a common trait among psychopaths who can appear highly functional and respectable on the surface while engaging in criminal behavior. 3. Richard Nixon. While not a criminal in the traditional sense, Richard Nixon, the 37th President of the United States, exhibited several psychopathic traits during his time in office. He was known for his manipulation, secrecy, and willingness to engage in unethical and illegal activities such as the Watergate scandal. These behaviors are characteristic of psychopathy in the political realm. 4. Enron Executives, Jeffrey Skilling and Kenneth Lay. The Enron scandal in the early 2000s involved the fraudulent accounting practices of the energy company's executives. Jeffrey Skilling and Kenneth Lay. They engaged in deceptive financial practices, which led to the company's bankruptcy and the loss of billions for investors and employees. Their willingness to deceive and manipulate for personal gain is indicative of psychopathic traits in the corporate world. 5. Charles Manson. Charles Manson was a cult leader who manipulated his followers into committing a series of brutal murders, including the infamous Tate LaBianca murders. His ability to control and influence others, as well as his lack of empathy or remorse for the crimes committed, exemplifies psychopathic behavior. 6. Aileen Warnos. Aileen Warnos was a female serial killer who murdered several men. Her lack of remorse for the killings and her history of violent behavior is indicative of psychopathic traits in some women. These real-life examples help illustrate the range of behaviors and the destructive impact that psychopathy can have on both individuals and society. It's important to note that not all psychopaths are criminals or murderers as psychopathic traits can manifest in various ways and to varying degrees. But these examples demonstrate some of the more extreme and recognizable behaviors associated with psychopathy. The exact causes of psychopathy are not fully understood, and it is likely a complex interplay of genetic, neurological, and environmental factors. Research in this area is ongoing, but here are some key factors that are believed to contribute to the development of psychopathy. One. Genetics. There is evidence to suggest that genetic factors play a role in the development of psychopathy. Studies have shown that psychopathy tends to run in families. And there may be specific genetic variations that increase the risk of developing psychopathic traits. However, genetics alone do not determine the presence of psychopathy. They interact with other factors. 2. Brain abnormalities. Neuroimaging studies have revealed differences in the brain structure and functioning of individuals with psychopathy. These differences are often related to areas of the brain responsible for impulse control, emotional processing, and moral decision-making. It's believed that these neurological differences contribute to the characteristic lack of empathy and impulse control seen in psychopaths. 3. Environmental factors. Early life experiences and environmental factors can also contribute to the development of psychopathy. Some potential environmental factors include Childhood adversity Exposure to trauma, neglect, or abuse during childhood can increase the risk of developing psychopathic traits. Parenting Inconsistent or harsh parenting styles may contribute to the development of psychopathy in some cases. Peer influences Associations with deviant or antisocial peers during adolescence can play a role in the development of psychopathic traits. 4. A combination of factors. It's important to note that psychopathy is likely the result of a complex interaction between genetic, neurological, and environmental factors. Not everyone exposed to adverse experiences or with genetic predispositions will develop psychopathy. And the presence of these factors alone is not a guarantee of psychopathic traits. 5. Personality and temperament, asterisk. Certain personality traits and temperamental factors may also contribute to psychopathy. Traits such as low agreeableness, low conscientiousness, and high extroversion have been associated with psychopathic traits. It's important to distinguish between psychopathy and antisocial personality disorder, ASPD as they are related but distinct concepts. Psychopathy is often considered a more severe and specific form of ASPD. Psychopaths tend to exhibit a callous and unemotional interpersonal style, 
while individuals with ASPD may have a broader range of antisocial behaviors. Early intervention and treatment for individuals at risk of developing psychopathic traits are essential to help mitigate the negative impact on themselves and society. However, the treatment of psychopathy remains a challenging and debated topic, as it often involves managing and rehabilitating individuals with ingrained patterns of behavior and thinking. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Don't forget to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.